Like this video and subscribe in the next five seconds so this spider is going to be crawling around in your bed when you sleep tonight. What is up guys? It's Linksy here back for a brand new video. Today we're going to be looking at six YouTubers houses then and now. We will show you all kinds of homes that they used to live in at the start of their careers and what kind of insane mansions they managed to buy after becoming so popular. So make sure you keep on watching until the very end to see some of your favorite YouTubers including Sniper Wolf, Jelly, Unspeakable, and Preston. Coming straight into number six we have Preston and he made his first house tour back in 2013 and it was a really special anniversary video celebrating 400 uploads on his channel. So he shows around his house, which is pretty nice, but it pales in comparison to his brand new house that he bought a few years ago. It's almost like a mansion, and he has this insane staircase and a huge kitchen, and obviously the best possible gaming setup, so let's roll the clip. I'm here, otherwise known as TB in our frags, and uh, today is like my 401th video. This was supposed to be my 400th video, but I kind of messed up, so sorry about that. 401th video. Here's the apartment. This is a second story. It's a three-story townhouse slash apartment thing. I got my TV with my Xbox. Kitchen, you know, very nice kitchen. Very easy to clean, very easy to cook. Absolutely love it. And, oh, this thing, oh my gosh. It's awesome. It's a coffee machine. This is our house tour. This is uh, Brianna's office, technically not even mine. She has her own office because she's well, the wife. A cigar lounge, but we don't do any of that here at the house, so it's more of just like a private reading area. This is what they call the, li the living room. This looks like a dining room. <laughs> no, this is a living room. Trust me, Nick. I am a male and I- He just... also decorated it. I don't Him. believe that either. Mm -hmm. The queen! This is mine. Stop, this is mine. You're harassing me. Okay, fine. At number five, we have Allie. So he's been doing YouTube for over 10 years now. When he first started making videos, he was actually still living with his parents. So in the first clip, he's showing off his separate rooms that he used for gaming and recording videos. So let's check it out. This is my workspace. Now, actually, the layout is identical to how it was in the flat. Three LG super wide monitors, my gaming monitor, my lighting setup, camera setup, microphone setup. I'm actually editing the video and the vlog on my second channel where we made and put together the big TV downstairs. So this currently is my workspace. And in terms of size, you can tell it's like two or three times as big as the room that I was in. And I love it. It just gives us so much space. But obviously, you guys may watch my videos maybe every day if you do. Big chat. All right. So that was pretty nice. But six years after this clip, he bought a literal mansion. And it's so spacious and luxurious. So let's take a look at it. So let's head on in. I am super tired. Literally went to bed like 3 a.m. You guys know, especially here on my second channel channel. I've been grinding out videos just to take one week off the 3 a.m. Got everything done, had two hours of sleep, rushed to the airport, flew here, and now I can relax. So this is like the main entrance living room area. It is absolutely stunning. The whole place is absolutely stunning. As we arrive, a little bit of food, a little bit of drinks, ready for us to relax and enjoy. We've got the kitchen in here. We've literally just been shopping. One of the biggest things in a massive holiday like this is make sure you've got some beautiful food to you enjoy yourself. And as you can see, this is absolutely rammed with not only water, drinks. Next up at number four, we have Unspeakable, and he showed his first home for the first time in 2017. But then a few years later, he bought this crazy mansion that looks like a castle. It's literally built on a private island that's in the middle of a huge lake. So it's probably the craziest YouTuber mansion ever. So let's get to it. Two rooms coming this way. We have the cat room and we have the guest bedroom. So let's see if little buddy will come out. Oh, there he is. There he is. Mufasa. All right, so this is the cat room if you guys come into here. So we got some beds, toys, pretty cool stuff. This is like his little bed. Was the guest bedroom, it still is the guest bedroom. It's all messed up right now because Shark was here just a couple days ago and it's all messed up. Nope, I'm getting up. And the living room. So I love this house because the ceilings are super, super high. That's probably why it's super, super echoey right now. All the ceilings are about 12 feet high. Behind me, we have the gate to our brand new vlog house. I'm not even gonna call this a vlog house. This is a vlog resort, ladies and gentlemen. You saw the title, you saw the...
through the Amorphs and he started YouTubing when he was really, really young and still living with his parents, so it's actually not his first house, but it looks pretty good and you can see some really cool stuff lying around. But the very first house that he bought after becoming a millionaire is literally insane, so let's check it out. As you just saw, it had cool lights and a ton of awesome stuff on it, but it didn't stop Morks from working hard for his own money, and years later, he actually bought this insane house that has all sorts of crazy stuff inside. Trust me, you don't want to miss this, so let's get back to the clip. Next up at number two, we have Jelly, who had a nice house from the start of his YouTube career, but it wasn't special and it was a little boring. But then he got famous and literally bought a $6.5 million mansion. It's so luxurious and insane, guys, that you have to see it for yourself. So let's get to it. Oh. We're just going to start off here. This is my setup, guys. Um, as you guys can see, I got three monitors. They're not the most expensive monitors, but they work pretty well. Three Xboxes. Xbox One, Xbox 360, Xbox 360. I'm also playing in PlayStation 4 soon. This is my bedroom right here. And as you guys can see, there's another TV here, um, a closet. Uh, this is my, my bed. I got a, I think, a, yeah, this is a MacBook right here, MacBook Pro. Uh, let's say, I don't know, 40-inch television or 38 or something like that. Um, to my master bedroom. This, ladies and gentlemen, is where I spend pretty much 10 hours a day. Ridiculous, right? This is where I sleep. It's massive. Look. So we got a beautiful Japanese toilets. Yep. This is one of those toilets that cleans your butt. So this is another bathroom, the guest room's bathroom. We've got a nice shower. This is actually the favorite shower of the house. Like, this is a really nice shower. This is another Japanese toilet. We love Japanese people. Shout out to all of you. And this is, uh, that's the cameraman. <laughs> Finally, at number one, we have Sniper Wolf, and in this first clip, you'll see her first house tour that she recorded over eight years ago. It's just insane to see because she looks super young, and her house is just her usual middle-class home, but then she shows around her kitchen and living room, but it's the second part of the clip that you'll see her $3 million mansion in Las Vegas that she recently purchased, and you definitely don't want to miss it. And this is the kitchen, where I will be spending most of the time, and I don't really have much stuff. This is the pantry, just food. I don't really have much food right now. You guys want to see what's in my fridge? Um... It's just bread, and this is stove. Stove is really crap. I don't like those kind of stoves, but it's fine. I have eggs, bacon, and strawberries, and cheese, and this is the sink, and the microwave, and water. You gotta have water, and I still haven't finished unpacking the plates and stuff. And this is the living room. I might put my PS3 here so I can play PS3 and PS and stuff. All right, so her first house was nothing impressive, but now you're going to see her new mansion and just her recording room is bigger than like her entire previous house. So make sure you keep on watching until the end. Game room first. I'm just gonna go to my room because it's right here. Come on in. So I got- No, you open that door for me. No, okay. I want both open. No. Yeah, see guys, the doors open both ways. Yes, and there are glass doors, which is absolutely horrible for audio quality. So I had to put up a wall of audio foam. And oh, by the way, this is my setup for a few months. I got my oblivion here, I got my little shelf. Like before it was just this, and I was like, okay, you know what? I want to make it more like my old setup because a lot of you guys like my old setup better. This is like boring. It's just yellow audio foam that used to be white. You know, I bought white audio foam and look at this color now. Look at it, it is piss yellow. I haven't had time to like look for furniture and stuff. It's basically the same, except I have a white desk. I got my pretty razor mouse and my iMac gaming setup. Don't worry, guys, there's a PlayStation under here. I have posters that I have to hang. 